In the previous two lectures, we had discussion on different symmetries in Fourier series expansion and now in this presentation, we are going to extend our discussion on hidden symmetry by solving two examples. In the first example, we need to comment about the Fourier series expansion of signal yt when the waveform is given and we need to do same thing in the second example also, we need to comment about the Fourier series expansion of signal gt when the waveform is given. So our task is to find if there is any hidden symmetry and if there is hidden symmetry then by using it we need to comment about the Fourier series expansion. So let's move to the solution of the first example. In order to obtain the hidden symmetry we will focus on the given signal waveform and we will try to get the common symmetries which we already know from the given signal waveform using the operations on signal. And if you see the waveform of signal yt, it is very much clear that we can obtain the half wave symmetry if we push the signal downward. So if we apply the downward amplitude shifting, we can have the half wave symmetry from the given signal waveform. So yt after downward amplitude shifting will give us half wave symmetric signal. And let's say the half wave symmetric signal is represented by xt. So in solution, we will have xt like this, which we have obtained after pushing the signal yt downward. And it is clear that signal xt is a half wave symmetric signal. And also it is an odd signal. You can see the signal xt is an odd signal because after performing the time reversal and amplitude reversal, we will get the same signal. This means after performing the time reversal and amplitude reversal, we will have the same signal xt. Therefore, it is an odd signal. Now we already know for odd half wave symmetric signal, there will be only sign terms with odd harmonics in the Fourier series expansion. So signal xt will have only sign terms with odd harmonics. So this is about the Fourier series expansion of signal xt and in question we need to comment about the Fourier series expansion of signal yt and we know we can obtain signal xt after performing the downward amplitude shifting of signal yt and the amount by which we will perform the shifting is equal to minus 10 because you can see this level, this is the maximum positive level in the signal and it is equal to 11. And in signal xt, the maximum positive level is equal to 1. So the difference is equal to 10 and we are performing the downward amplitude shifting. Therefore, we will have minus 10. So we can write signal xt is equal to minus 10 plus signal yt. And as we need to comment about the Fourier series expansion of signal yt, we will isolate yt and we will have yt equal to 10 plus xt. And we already know the Fourier series expansion of signal xt will have only sign terms with odd harmonics. So we can write 10 plus b1 sin omega naught t plus b3 sin 3 omega naught t and so on. So here you can see we have sine terms with odd harmonics and also 10 is present. So this 10 is the DC or average value of the signal. It is A naught and apart from A naught we are having sine terms with odd harmonics. So BN is not equal to 0 and as there is no cosine term present AN is equal to 0. So we now have the information about the Fourier series expansion of signal yt and we can obtain the correct option if the four options are given in the question. So this is like a shortcut method to obtain the correct option in objective questions. There is no need to obtain the Fourier series expansion using the conventional method and also you will find direct questions on symmetries. So understanding of symmetries will save you time in your examination. Now we will move to the second example. In the second example, the given signal is gt 
and in this case we can obtain the half wave symmetric signal after performing the upward amplitude shifting we can have the half wave symmetric signal and let's say the half wave symmetric signal is represented by ft so we will shift the waveform upward and the amount by which we will perform the shifting is again equal to 10 because you can see the total height of the signal is equal to 2 units and 10 is in the center so this 10 must move to 0 and this means we need to shift it upward by 10 units and this is how the waveform will look so again we are having half wave symmetric signal but this time the signal is even in nature it is not an odd signal it is an even signal if you perform the time reversal you will get the same signal so signal ft is an even signal and also it is half wave symmetric and we already know the fourier series expansion of an even half wave symmetric signal contains only cosine terms with odd harmonics so we will have only cosine terms with odd harmonics so this is about the Fourier series expansion of signal ft but in question it is asking about the Fourier series expansion of signal gt so we can have signal ft after performing the upward amplitude shifting by 10 therefore we will add 10 to the signal gt and as the question is asking about gt we will isolate it gt is equal to minus 10 plus ft so finally in the Fourier series expansion of signal gt we will have minus 10 plus a1 cos omega naught t plus a3 cos 3 omega naught t plus so on so in the Fourier series expansion we have the DC or average value A0 equal to minus 10 and cosine terms with odd harmonics so An is not equal to 0 and as in the expansion there is no sine term BN is equal to 0 so this is all about the Fourier series expansion of signal GT by looking at the options you will be able to tick mark the correct option Whenever you are not able to find the symmetry directly, think about hidden symmetry.